In this video, I want to share with you how you can start tracking your Facebook ad performance and users and data with your Kajabi lead funnels and websites and the likes. So we will start in, um, you'd look in your events manager, in your ads manager as well. So when I go through in my business manager settings, um, I can come through to my um, account, uh, my to an ad account, and it's going to ask me to connect data sources. Okay, so it'll say, "Great, connect data," and we'll say, "Okay, yep, yeah, that's what we're going to do." Um, and then for Kajabi, we're going to choose website for this one. You, you may have another um, service you want to integrate, which um, you might want to include here. This is just going to give us more robust tracking, particularly with all the iOS changes um, and more expected to be coming. Facebook have upgraded their tracking so that we have more on Facebook tools and server-side tools to be checking everything and matching the data. So we want to get the most accurate conversion data possible so we can track the performance of each of our ads. So we can click connect and um, then you can name your data set. Now, I've already done it for this one, so I'm not gonna set up another one, but you can just put the name of your business um, or your Kajabi data set, but you'll probably just use the same one uh, across uh, most of your lead funnels and pipelines. Okay, so you name that and click create. Now, because I already did it and it didn't film, hopefully it'll bring it here. Um, I think that it asks you to one moment what we will then do just go to the overview i'm just going to show you one other thing i think it brings it here um and we can go it'll then give us that data source that will be your pixel and your data set okay they've changed they're sort of using the names interchangeably now so when you want to see the actual pixel code you click on down here set up meta pixel and if you just want the chunk of code you can click install code manually and copy that code and that will give you your full um facebook code uh, facebook pixel code or meta pixel code okay and that's what's called your base code that will go across every page. But most services, including Kajabi, will only ask for the string of codes, okay? So the string of numbers, sorry, that is embedded within that base code. Um, so if you paste this code, you'll see the string of numbers, which will actually be, if I go back here, um, to where I just was, it was those numbers that were on the side under data sources. Let me just show you that this ID here, okay? So firstly, that will be what we will embed in Kajabi. So we would go to Kajabi, one moment, let me see if I can pull this up. We'll go to our Kajabi settings in here. And I'll just go out of here for a moment. And we go down to settings and we click on third party integrations and then we head down to Facebook pixel and we paste that pixel ID here okay so that was just what I was highlighting to you before that's where you'd find that paste that in there we also want to get this access token because it improves data matching as well so this pixel ID should then mean those um, the each page that you publish on Kajabi will have that base code and will be registering um, views. So if, say for example, if we we're gonna set this uh, page up, let me just, oh, I haven't put the Facebook pixel tracker on it yet. Um, but if I did here, for example, I grab that page and we're just in the throes of just setting all of this up from scratch. So we would go back here and I could put that in my Chrome browser. By the way, you need to be doing this in Chrome to see your Pixel um, Tracker, which is an extension, and it'll show you if that's displaying. We can click up here, and it says, yes, one, it's got a page view. I can then go to set up events on other individual pages once that's activated too. But that now I know is hooked up, but I'm also wanted the um, token, which I, 
go into um, let me show you see just going to open all of these things I'll go back there I'll go back to the overview here go to data sources what I can do is once again click on set up mega pixel and then I'm going to check for my partner integration because there is one for Kajabi so I click on that and I want automatic advanced matching or oh, turn it on I thought I had it on okay so slide that across because we want the automatic advanced matching then we click next and next again I can do many things and Alexa you into the okay. radio feature is Alan. working I'm still working on I can get you another Alexa's station, talking though. to me in the background okay. Alexa though. stop uh, sorry I thought I was um, instructing Alexa or something okay so then um, it says it's active now, but it will give me that token when I haven't done it already. So then I click next. Oh, that's actually, sorry, that's verifying the pixel is actually on the page because that needs to be on there first. And then you enter your website URL in there um, or the domain that's connected. So if you've got a, your main domain connected to Kajabi or, as, um, well, it doesn't matter if it's a subdomain either, that's fine too. If you haven't done your custom domain yet, um, you, I'm not sure if it works without the custom domain done. Um, you might just use, need to use your Kajabi general URL. And then I go next and it is going, I'm just going to, because uh, I've already done that there. So normally it will give me a little token, a piece of code. Um, but because I'd already done it and didn't record, it's not going to show you that one. Um, but it gives you like a piece of code to copy. And that is what I had added in here. Not there. In my settings. Under here. That was my access token. So I just pasted that from when I put my website in and it generated the token and um, then I could copy it. Okay. Um, I was hoping to capture that on a new account to show you exactly what it would look like. Uh, but it wanted to disappear for me which is a bit annoying uh, but that's okay that just gives you an idea of how to hook in your um, Kajabi partner integration and set up your data set and pixel so you'll have a number that you can uh, track your ad traffic and conversions okay good luck